Hello, Strasbourg and others watching this daily devotion today. It is Thursday, August 13th, 2020. And I'm going to read from you from Psalm 82. And it's kind of a peculiar psalm, so keep your ears up as you listen to it. God has taken his place in the divine council. In the midst of the gods, he holds judgment. How long will you judge unjustly and show partiality to the wicked? Give justice to the weak and the orphan. Maintain the right of the lowly and the destitute. Rescue the weak and the needy. Deliver them from the hand of the wicked. They have neither knowledge nor understanding. They walk around in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are shaken. And I say, you are gods, children of the Most High, all of you. Nevertheless, you shall die like mortals and fall like any prince. Rise up, O God, Judge the earth, for all the nations belong to you. Like I said, an interesting psalm, right? It sounds as if God is ruling over a divine council of other gods, of lesser gods, all children of the Most High. You know, maybe it's some poly, polytheism going on, something from Rome or Greek gods or the Babylonian gods, who knows? But I like to think of it not just about that understanding of cosmology, maybe with polytheism, which was still a competing thing against the monotheism of the Jewish faith, but I like to think of it instead that those who this psalmist is addressing are not some gods that are part of other religions. No, he's confronting the ruling class of his own society, the kings princes, those with money. And who would we think that this would be directed to in our day and age? Perhaps the senators? Perhaps Congress? Perhaps the wealthy business owners? Perhaps the landowners? Perhaps those who have control and power over us? Perhaps those of one race over another or one gender over another? When you think about that, it certainly uh, adds some spice to this word, doesn't it? The plea in the very last bit of that psalm, Psalm 82, Rise up, O God, judge the earth, for all the nations belong to you. You see the first few verses here, verses 1 through 7. It describes that God is taken, has taken his place. In the council. God is the chairman. God is the king of all creation. And they're all listening to God. And the advice that God has is to do justice and to love the poor and to take care of the orphan and the widow. And, and frankly, that's what's made Christianity unique of all the religions of this earth is that our Messiah, Jesus, was with the poor, was with women, was with people who were on the outskirts. And he challenged the Jewish folks that he was around that they need to treat them with more respect. Well, church, what are we going to do with this word? You know, not all of us are wealthy, not all of us have power, not of, all of us are in political places, but we do have control over our own households and our own communities and our own circles of friends. We are influential in our own little ways, and we need to be praying for God to change us and to change this world and to, to take care of those who God wishes for us to take care of so that we may one day cry like the psalmist did. Rise up, O God, judge the earth, for all the nations belong to you. Let us pray. O Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you from this reminder, for this reminder from Scripture, that we need to be taking care of those who are the least and the last among us. And Lord, if we find ourselves in that place of no power, 
or if we find ourselves in that place of no distinction or no ability to lead or no possibility to lead or no availability to lead, Lord, we ask that you continue to bless us and nurture us, that we may take care of what we can take care of, whether it be ourselves, our families, or beyond that. And Lord, for those of us who do have wealth, for those of us who do have power, for those of us who are privileged, Lord, we ask that you continue to guide us and strengthen us and allows, allow us to use our influence to help those and not just help ourselves. Lord, we pray for our nation in these days, for this continued political process that is uh, really putting people on, on two sides. And Lord, we ask that we be on your side rather than any side of a political party. So Lord, inspire us in our daily walk and in our weekly journey and in our monthly time as we try to live uh, day to day. Be with us in our careers and in our vocations and in our retirement. Lord, we thank you for your blessing upon our lives, and amen. Will you sing with me, Yezu, Yezu? Yezu, Yezu, fill us with your love. Show us how to serve the neighbors we have from you. Kneels at the feet of his friends, silently washing their feet. Master who acts as a slave to them. Jesus, Jesus, fill us with your love. Show us how to serve the neighbors we have from you. Neighbors are rich and poor, neighbors are black and white, neighbors are near and far away. Jesus, Jesus, fill us with your love, to us how to serve the neighbors we have. These are the ones we should serve. These are the ones we should love. All our neighbors to us and you. Jesus, Jesus, fill us with your love. Show us how to serve the neighbors we have. I hope you enjoyed that song that I shared with you, and I will hopefully see you tomorrow. So thank you for tuning in today to this daily devotion.